Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss adaptive linear neuron, also known as Adeline network. In artificial neural network, the computational unit with the linear activation function are called as the linear units. A network with single linear unit is called as adaptive linear neuron, also known as Adeline network in this case. Because we use a linear unit in Adeline, the relationship between input output is linear in this case. Adeline uses uh, bipolar activation function for its uh, input signal and for its output signals over here. This is how the architecture of uh, Adeline looks like. If you want to understand this particular architecture, I will take uh, uh, three examples. Let us say that 1, 2, 3 are the three examples and x1, x2 and xn are the features and then I will consider yn is the calculated output over here. Now, if you look at this particular architecture, x0 is the bias here that is always equal to 1. So, I, that's the reason I have not written here. x1, x2, xn are the features with respect to each and every example over here. And then we need to calculate yn. To calculate this particular yn, first we will assign some random weights over here. The random bias and the weights are w1, w2, wn in this case. So, these particular inputs are passed to this particular summation function or the activation function using this particular uh, the weights and uh, the y in that is the uh, value of this particular neuron is calculated using this particular equation that is b plus summation of xi wi where b is the bias xi is the input and wi is the weight over here now uh, if we consider this particular first example these are the values will be given as an input and then we will calculate this particular value over here that is y in will be calculated now once you calculate this particular y in what we do is we will go back and then update this particular weights here as well as bias in this case. Now how to update this particular weights and biases? We use this particular equation wi new is equal to wi old plus alpha into t minus y in multiplied by xi here. This is the old weight whatever we have in the before we do this particular updation. Alpha is the learning rate, t is the target for that particular uh, you can say that the example y in will be the calculated value over here and x i is the input. So, with the help of this particular thing, we will update w1, w2 till wn over here and bias is updated with the help of this equation. Bias new is always equal to bias old plus alpha that is the learning rate t minus y in where t is the target and y in is the calculated value over here. Now, once you do done with this particular first example, we will give second example as an input over here. This one will be given as an input and then we will again calculate this particular y in here. Now, once you calculate this particular y in, again we will go back and update this particular weights. The same thing will be done for the third input also. Now, once you complete this particular third input, the meaning of this one is we have completed one what you can say that the epoch here. Now, before we go to this particular second epoch that is uh, the epoch number two and so, so on, what is that we do is we will calculate the total error of this particular epoch here. Uh, after giving first input or the first example as an input, we do one thing that is we will calculate the error with respect to two, that is first input here that is e1 is equal to summation of t minus y in bracket square. So, whatever the y in we got in the first iteration that will be considered to calculate this particular e1. So, when you give the second input we will calculate e2 here and when you give the third input we will calculate e3 here and sum of all this particular thing is nothing but the total error of that particular epoch and once you calculate that particular total error of that particular epoch we will decide whether to go with the second epoch or we should not go here for example that uh, the acceptable error is e and the calculated error of this particular epoch is et that is the total error and the calculated error is less than this particular expected error so what we can do is we can stop over here but if the calculated error is greater than this particular expected error we need to go to the second epoch and then we need to do this particular computation again over there so that we will try to reduce this particular total error here. Once the total error becomes less than the expected error, then we can stop this particular computation over here. So, this is how this particular uh, Adeline network uh, works. The same thing is represented in this particular uh, the flowchart here. Init we initialize this particular weights, bias as well as the learning rate initially and then we will set what is the expected or the acceptable error in this particular case for each uh, uh, that you can say that the combination that is input and the target we will give one in example as an input and then we will calculate this particular y in here 
for first example we will calculate y in with the help of that particular y in we will update those particular weights and bias and then we will go back and then we will give the second input again we will uh, uh, update that particular weights over here and the same thing will be repeated again and again at the same time we will calculate error for each and every input here and once you do this part i think we will calculate the total error total error we will compare against the acceptable error if it is acceptable we will stop here otherwise we will go back and then we will do the same thing again and again that is called as we will repeat the same epoch again over here so this is how actually adaptive linear neuron or adaline works in uh, artificial neural network i hope video i have discussed what is adaline neural network what is the architecture of Ad adaline neural network and what is the working principle of adaline neural network in the next video, I will discuss uh, a numerical example to understand this particular Adeline neural network in detail. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.